Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is the first war of the season. We're going up against an alliance called Espana Dos. I have no idea if I said that correctly, uh, but warning, head of time. You're going to hear me ranting. This particular season, I feel, should never have been. All right. Uh, Kabam has said that they will be changing the nodes, the uh, defense tactics, and all of that good stuff, uh, toning some things down. But in its current state, war is not fun at all. Uh, so what my alliance has been doing is boss rushing. Okay, so you'll notice that we already had a bunch of people over on the left-hand side. We go in, we look and see which one uh, is going to be the easiest to clear. And then we just all rush on that side. Not everyone. Initially, just a few of us. Uh, if they need help, then that's what we do. All right, um, we go over there and, and help out. Now, here I'm fighting with a guillotine 2099. The defense tactic is flow, of course. Uh, but she is great for flow because she doesn't crit. So I don't have to worry about that. Now, uh, you'll notice here that he's got some regen happening, but her special two puts a specter debuff. So when he tries to regen, he's not going to, but the node won't let me do a nice reverse heal. Lovely, lovely. So first of all, I don't like war. I absolutely hate war. If I could get the same resources elsewhere, I wouldn't even do war, okay? But what they have done, at least in this current iteration, is a mess, okay? I don't know anyone that really likes it. You've got some hardcore folks that just love war and they love it to be difficult. They love the challenge, more power to them. But most of us, no, not liking it, okay? So I cleared that one there, and uh, you see he was waiting for me to clear it, so he jumped in there uh, to fight that Hyperion. So I looked around, and I'm like, okay, we've got uh, this Domino here, and I'm like, okay, looking over. You know, this is the first time uh, many of us are dealing with these nodes, okay? It's definitely first time for me. So I'm looking there, and I'm like, okay, well, I have Omega Red for Korg, and... Uh, for Domino, I can use either Guillotine 2099 or Warlock. All right, so here we resumed. He got done with that Hyperion. And so I went over here and I said, okay, we're about to have some fun with this Domino. Maybe. All right, so I refreshed my memory here, looked again at what I was going to have to deal with. Uh, Domino is already a very annoying champion to fight. Adding in a bunch of these nodes is just not fun, okay? It's not fun for me. Uh, I know it's fun for some other people, but not fun for me. But anyway, I wanted to try out Guillotine 2099. She's a tech champion, and so I'm like, all right, should be able to do pretty decently, all right? But watch the damage. Look at, look at the damage she's taking. This is not fun, okay? I'm sitting here, I'm trying to fight, I'm using, you know, the skills that I have acquired, and just look at this. Look at my health, you know? That's just not fun, okay? For me, no matter what, you know, my skill set or whatever, just look at this. I haven't gotten hit. Shouldn't I be rewarded for not having gotten hit? Okay? But no not 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 doing it all right so just just look at this fight man i was when i saw my health disappearing like that i was just like whatever okay i kind of gave up in the end because i could see how it was going her health wasn't going down fast enough and my health my health was going down plenty fast so i sat there for a little bit and i'm like okay okay um, we, we hurt her a little bit, uh, but then you see that, uh, my alliance mates, they went in 
and uh, hurt her a little bit, but they also got wrecked. So this time I said, oh no, we got to get some revenge. So I came in with my boy Warlock, who is a great domino counter. And I don't know how well he was going to do on this node. Turns out he did pretty well. Okay. So you can see here, we're just going in. We're not doing anything too fancy. Now, if my Warlock was awakened, uh, when she is infected, she would have been getting an extra degen on her. So I really want to get my Warlock awakened. And honestly, if I'm going to be using him a lot, I might want to do that because it'll speed the fight up, you know. Uh, but I don't know if I want to use an awakening gem on him. But in any case, we got through that fight, finished her off, and it turns out he's great to handle her on that node. So I reported that back, uh, and they were like, okay, that's good to know, because we're still filling things out. You know, we're not trying to use items unless we just want to. All right. So now we've got Korg. Now, I'm the designated Korg killer for my battle group. Now, I usually do it with Havoc, but I've also done it with Omega Red. So I'm looking over here and I'm like, okay, now you see the Oscillate. Korg is already annoying. And then you have Oscillate on top of that. But what really messes me up is Mixmaster. I had never really fought Mixmaster. So I want you to see how this fight goes. All right, saw that right there? That evade. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And look at this, one combo and I'm almost done. All right, so let me explain what happened. I'm familiar with Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision and Mixmaster seem similar, but they're not, okay? With Tunnel Vision, you can't do the same action. So doing a medium light medium, medium light medium works for the most part. Okay, however, uh, with this one, and I believe that's tunnel vision, with this one, uh, the medium light medium is not going to work uh, because as soon as I do that second medium, as you see, he's going to evade. So I'm having to change up my style on the fly. I don't do well with that. Okay, uh, I just need to get a little bit more practice and get used to fighting that. And then I just messed up there and got clipped by the last one. Uh, I was looking where I shouldn't have been looking is what happened. Uh, but I should have been able to do much better against that Korg there. But there was just so much to try to digest and everything. But we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. So Korg went down. Now, my participation in the fight uh, is not over yet because we're trying to do a boss rush. We've got people waiting in the wings, you know waiting to join. And we're gonna go and see if we can get all the way to the boss and take the boss out. Because if we can, then they can come in and just do exploration, okay? Now, see this window of opportunity stun? I hate that node. I hate the philosophy that went into this node, okay? So I want you to see what happens to me here. So I went in here. And I'm thinking, all right, I just will try to fight them uh, stun immune, okay? Look at that. Do you know why that happened? Because I parried. Look at that, and I'm gone. Just that one mistake and the fight is over. This is not fun at all, okay? I was so frustrated, and then I got ticked. And what you're going to see is me getting ticked and what I do when I get ticked. OK, uh, I don't like losing in the first place. But when I lose like that, no. So we've got people. We've got backup. We don't have to use any items. But I was not about to go out like that. I was not about to let him go back and tell the story of how he took me out and stopped me there. Not happening. So I said, all right, I'm going to. Uh, use some of my health potions, uh, revive up, and we're going to try to go back in there again. All right. Now, here's why I don't like this particular node. 
it's because you are punished for doing something that you were trained to do okay so you see here i'm doing a little bit better here you know i'm just trying to go in i'm trying to stay away from trying to parry okay i'm trying to back off all right and then here we go now i got to deal with his you know he's already annoying anyway all right but here we go you know flow is is adding power to him and all that good stuff you know just really an annoying fight okay you see i'm just baiting stuff out all right and then here we go i'm in the corner but i'm coming out of it I'm gonna fire okay no i didn't fire off the special two i want to bait it out a little bit get that infection on him all right and now he's gonna fire that off again and now i gotta wait again okay just taking a lot of block damage a lot of block damage okay uh and then here we go bait it out another special two okay still haven't been able to get my uh attack in yet all right and then i got hit like that i'm in the corner and i'm down a very annoying fight okay um now there's better options for that particular node uh if you're going to be taking a lot of block damage uh you probably want to take get someone else now something about guillotine 2099 and you're going to see this you notice i didn't heal her up watch her health all right that's what's cool about her i might have to take her all the way up all right so here you go i took some blocked hits and i'm trying not to uh not to uh, uh parry him which i do unconsciously because i've been trained for so long and even when they're stun immune you can always parry safely but now you're being punished so we've been talking about this. This is something that Kabam is going to be looking into. The whole philosophy, like I said, the philosophy that I'm talking about is where you get punished for not playing the way they want you to play. That's not cool. So rather than that, we should get rewarded for playing a certain way. You know, maybe give you an extra buff if you get some intercepts in. Or, you know, some extra buffs if you parry. Something, you know? But getting punished for fighting the way that you would normally fight anyway. You know, we've got the parry. Mastery. All right? So now, Iceman already has crazy incidental damage, okay? But I'm thinking that once it goes down a little bit, she's going to heal back up again. But then you go, boom. Okay? Look at this. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? This isn't fun. This is not fun at all. I hate war. And what they've done to war, I personally told them they should just scrap season 19. Fix it the way they were talking about fixing it. Just scrap season 19. But they didn't do it, obviously. Um, and I did watch some other videos and I see other people are having some trouble. Uh, people that fight way better than I do are also dying on some of these nodes because they're they're just not fun you know you already have a defender and you've learned how to fight this defender but then you add in a global and nodes so now instead of just being able to fight the defender you've got to fight the defender's mechanics plus the global that's adding to it plus the nodes no that's not fun at all and honestly, I would be perfectly okay with a, a boycott of Alliance War. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, we're taking it easy for the most part. All right. So here I go in again. You see, that's what I was expecting to happen the first time. Okay. And I'm just trying to block. I'm not trying to parry. All right. And then here we go. Just trying to uh, evade out of there. Okay. Bait out that special one. All right. All right, he doesn't want to throw it. All right, there he goes. He finally threw it. And for some reason, it's stuck. Because I wanted to punish that. Okay, but it, it just stayed there. All right, so I'm like, all right, well, fine. No harm, no foul. I'm, I just didn't get an opportunity. And then I get hit there. Now, look at this. That's the only time I got hit, right? So I'm just like, all right, I just need to fire off my special. Because if I don't fire off that special three, I'm probably not gonna get a chance to fire it off 
Not when I would like to fire up that uh, special. All right, but just look at this. Okay, and I'm, now I'm fighting. I've made that one mistake. And look at my health. Done. Just one mistake. Got hit one time, and there was nothing else I could do. Okay, very annoying. However, we do have Warlock, who is immune to the cold snap and everything. And we do have other champions uh, that are good for uh, this particular node. And you just have to adjust your play style. Okay. Um, but I particularly hate it because my play style, I parry without even thinking about it. All right. So here you go. You see, I went in there with a uh, little health. I'm a little bit more used to the fight now. Okay, and then here we go. Boom, boom. Took him down. Okay, very ugly, but we're learning. I don't know if I'm going to be in the first batch again, uh, but we'll see. Uh, somehow I can't seem to help myself, and I usually jump on in there. Okay, now, having been wrecked, I, pa I at least cleared my path. And I'm like, okay, this is probably going to be it for me for the rest of this war. Uh, I told uh, the officer and everything. Uh, so that's all I did here. Uh, I can't remember if I fought a little bit uh, on the boss, just chipping him down. I can't remember if I recorded that or not. Um, but let's come back. And it shouldn't be a surprise uh, how we did in this war. But let's find out. And as you can see, we lost this war. No surprise. We're not trying to push or do anything crazy like that. The one thing that we want to do is always get our bosses down. And then any extra points that we get, beautiful, great. So we achieved our goal. We got all three bosses down. And that's, I believe, how we're planning to play wars from this point on okay so that's gonna do it guys take care click like if you enjoyed the video maybe you enjoyed seeing me getting wrecked I don't know uh, but take care and you all have a blessed day